say how stoked I am to be actually driving the van right now. Uh, I'm taking it camping right now. We're going out to Greenwater. You know, taking it camping and such is what it's for. And I've had it. I'm just stoked to go out to do a little winter camping here with my buddies. Hopefully the rain holds out a little bit, but the forecast says lots and lots of rain. But right now we're nice and dry and that makes for a good drive. But, uh, you know, it's been an epic couple weeks trying to get the van back to driving. I started working on the rear suspension and man, that became way more of a challenge again than I thought it would be. I should know better. I mean, doing the front suspension, it was three months. I'm glad that this one only took a little over about, about two weeks or so um, with the complications I had. That didn't work. Instead, I bent the clamp. So here you have the bolt that goes to the shaft on this bushing. And the problem is that the bolt rests to the shaft. The shaft, the neck, then can't, then you can't push the bolt out at all. And once you can't push the bolt out at all, you have to cut it off. Looks like one of the CV axles I bought six months ago was bad. complicated everything because I had a whole lot of noise going on back there that I was trying to resolve but I'm just super stoked to finally get the van going and making some videos because I lost footage doing that whole project so I don't probably have a decent video for that I have some outtakes and such that I'll throw out there but it's just been a crazy fiasco the previous video I did try to do for that that didn't turn out right I'm learning a lot trying to shoot video it's really like everybody says go out there and do it shoot video vlog learn how to do it talk to this stupid camera that you don't realize that it's how hard it is to hold a conversation with no one and you're beside yourself and not act like a complete idiot right we've had some wild weather swings out here in the last couple weeks in the pacific northwest this road that I'm on right now was all snow and snowing on us when I was out here just a couple weeks ago with my buddy. Uh, we went looking for snow and found some snow, went snow buying a little bit. My buddies went out and checked this camp spot up last weekend I believe and there was snow out there and this weekend I bet there's nothing out there but we're just out in mud but hey it's camping so you go with the flow right Looks like those chains I brought are going to be needed. I'm out here and it's enough snow that I'm just spinning, but come prepared, right? All right, chains are on. They're cinched down twice. So I rolled back once and cinched them down and then rolled back again and cinched them down. And we're going to go see how this thing works on this road up here. I got to get in there where my friends are at. 
Oh yeah, beast mode. Let's do this. Oh, it's nice and bumpy in here. This is the big hole. Chains will fucking take you anywhere, huh? Awnings up. Yeah, it's really beautiful out here. I could stand here and stare at these clouds probably all morning. Sitting here drinking some coffee, you know. Oh yeah, look at that back there. There's our campsite right there. And some of you might wonder, that's a windsock there, because this is actually an airstrip behind me here. This is the end of the airstrip. And it goes all the way, way down there. And that's what's fenced off here. But along the side of it is this road here. And this road here takes you along the campsites here that I went and explored when I was here last time in the summertime. Well, fall, before the snow kicked in. I don't know if you heard that, but there's some explosions back there. It sounds like it's, uh, Crystal Mountain to an avalanche control or such, but it's really worth getting out here and getting out in the snow, just chilling with some friends. I didn't get much of that on video last night. It's hard to video friends and and uh, when the music's going and the drinking's going and all that other fun stuff. <sighs> Coffee's nice and warm. The birds are out flying around, collecting whatever they can from scraps, probably from the campsites. Yep, I was one of those guys and threw them some graham crackers last night. I should say the yak tracks are great for making it so you don't uh, slip and fall on your butt out here. Chains for your feet are like chains on the van. You can almost go anywhere, right? Stuck? You got shovels? At the end there, I could get out. I had to loan my shovel to some people in uh, a couple different cars there. They were uh, high centered and their Subarus and street tires on it. Um, bald almost street tires. You don't go in the snow with bald street tires. That's no good. Whether you got a super or not. Because it was doing one tire spin or two tires going on opposite corners. So, no lockers in that thing, but it took me a little bit to get the chains off, not as long as it took me to get them on, but 
It's always weird with the moon. We're in an odd rotated spot. Um, but once you get home here, get the misty all cleaned out. Man, I got pine needles and water all over the back there. I have to pull that rug out and dry it out. But good trip. Needed to get out and get the Westy used. Alright. Remember, that's van life, not van prawn.